One of the most important lessons I've learned in sales is that people's frustration meter is much higher than you think. We think sometimes we're going to annoy people if we push and press for the business. The reality is you can push way farther than you think. I remember a number of years ago, I had a salesman working for me and he did not want to run a Saturday call. So after I dealt with him, I decided I would run the call. It was a Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And I remember going on that call and there was no way I was not going to get this homeowner's business. I was not gonna give that salesperson, that salesman, the satisfaction on Monday morning of me not getting the deal. I wanted to show him he was missing out on the opportunity. So I go on the call and it was one of the most difficult calls I've ever been on. It was a young couple, about 25 years old, their very first home, they were buying a new heating and air conditioning system. They had a brand new six month old baby and their parents, their fathers, were helping pay for the system and they lived out of state. So what they wanted to do was to get the information and then of course send that on to their parents. Their parents would give them the money to make the decision and of course they were getting multiple bids. So I walk into this situation, I'm the first one in the house, no competitors in there yet. And I go through my process and I get down to the end and I ask for the order. And of course they say, well, we gotta think about it. Our dads are gonna help pay for it, blah, blah, blah. So I had that discussion, I overcome the three, the three bid objection, the I wanna think about it objections and I ask for the order again. No luck, right? Finally, after about the third or fourth time that I asked for the order, the, the wife, she says, she says, you know, Mr. Long, uh, you're starting to sound like a used car salesman. Well, personally, I got no problem with used car salespeople, but to her, that was kind of a negative connotation. So I bought myself some time and I said, I know you guys got to think about it. I know you guys got to talk about it. And so I ended up uh, just asking to remove myself from the situation. I said, why don't I go out to my car, return some phone calls, and you guys can talk about it. I got up and I walked out of the house. They waved me back in about 10 or 15 minutes later, no dice. They're still not saying yes. But I kept digging and I kept digging. And finally, like a shot in the dark, I started appealing to their sense of, of adulthood, their sense of wanting to be, be independent from their parents. And I said, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, I appreciate the fact that your parents are gonna help you pay for this system. But the reality is how would it feel for you if you could make this decision on your own, make the right decision, pay for it for yourself without having to rely on your parents? And the wife, who had told me earlier I was sounding like a used car salesman, turns to her husband and says, you know, that'd be kind of nice. I ended up closing the deal after I asked for the order probably five or six times. The one thing I learned on that lead, on that sales opportunity, is that you can push way farther than you think. We're always so concerned that we're going to offend somebody. But like I always say on a sales call, if I'm going to offend somebody, I'm gonna risk offending my customer rather than offending my wife and kids by not making any money. The bottom line is you gotta press, you gotta stay focused, you gotta do your job.